Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, your place for news and gameplay. Some good, some bad, and let's be honest, likely some raging tilting. If you like what you see, please consider subscribing and hitting that bell for notifications. Uh, first off, I want to apologize. I've been lacking in the video content of late. Uh, not to get into really personal details, but we've had some flooding uh, and piping issues here at the house. So my time has been split between actually working and dealing with that issue. Hopefully that will be cleared up this week, but I'm trying now to get back into some regular content, so please bear with me. That being said, I want to introduce this game that I had recently with a clan mate of mine. We happen to be on Yamantau, and I decided for a change I'm going to do a little bit of sniping. So, without any further ado, let's get into the action. Alright, here we go. We are on Yamantau. Drop in my Kumio here. Let's grab a few beacons. It is Beacon Rush after all. This is a perfect uh, map here for me to bring in my Fury and do a little bit of sniping if I can. I haven't had to use my Fury in a while. I want to do a little, have a little bit of change up here. I would usually, if I put my Fury in my lineup, I end up having something like the Moon map, and so my Fury is absolutely useless. But anyways, let's go over here to the left. Let's grab this beacon. We'll sit here, wait for it to change, and then we'll try and get down and get the center beacon. I see my teammate there already going towards center. Let's go down here slowly. I hate trying to use my dash on this downhill slope because we always stutter step. I wish somehow Pixonic could fix that. It drives me absolutely nuts. Hey, look at that. We have a Cossack on our team tanking. Yay! And I wish Pixonic would do something about that too. There should be a way to fix the matchmaking system to actually remove... Yeah, I just died there. Woohoo. Uh, anyways, get back to what I was saying. That stupid Cossack distracted me. There should be a way to, f to fix the matchmaking to completely eliminate tanking. You know, there, there really is no point in the game. I know why people are doing it, because the economy sucks. But Pixonic should at least fix the economy. Let's jump over here to this ramp, see if I can make it, and see if we can fire some splash through there. Come on, come on, come on. And there's a kill, awesome. So getting back to my point. Pixonic should be addressing the economy to make it less likely for people to want to tank. Hey, look, there's another Cossack, yay. Anyways, we're going to have our, our our hands full here trying to deal with a, a person potentially tanking our team. But anyways, let's, you know, enough. Let's get back to the match. Okay, there's a Raker up here. I can hit him. I just, oh, he's, uh, he's gone back a little bit more. He's out of my range. Okay, focus. Focus on the game. Let's go. All right, can I hit this guy? Not quite. He's just down there. So let, maybe I can hit the Raker now. Jump, oh, I screwed up my jump there. Oh, well, maybe I can hit him. There we go. Killed him uh, jumping down here. All right, so now I'm completely out in the open on the sitting duck, which is not really what I wanted to be in my Inquisitor here. But uh, I'll just try and do some damage here before I die, because I really don't have any place to go, and I still have another 15 seconds on my stealth. Maybe, maybe I can get over here. Uh, it's going to be close. Uh, no, no, not quite. All right, let's drop back in here. Uh, I, I see here. We're controlling center. Yeah, let's do the Fury. Let's bring the Fury in now. Oh, there's my stupid alarm going off. I thought I'd turn that off. Sorry about that. All right, so we have a guy coming up right in front of us here. He's not looking at us. Can I get in range? He's just sitting there. He's focused on my teammates. I need another 90 meters to go. He's behind that little pillar there. Don't want to get tunnel vision either. Okay, let's see if we can open up and do some damage. Oh, made him jump. All right, he'll land here in a, in a second. It's an Inquisitor, so it's going to be a few seconds left. He's going to come for me now. I should be able to kill him before he gets into range to be able to hit me. There we go. There's a kill. All right, oh, there's nice. There's a guy right over there. Let's kill him too. Reload. Oh, he's just behind structure. Teammate got him. Okay, who's who's next? Let's do a little bit of sniping. We've got them pushed back pretty good. There's another guy coming down. I got a backup here. We've got some kinetic weapons coming in on me on the in the center area there. 
So what's this guy in? Can't quite tell. It's... Of course. I think it's a Lancelot. Whenever I drop my Fury, I always find a Lancelot. Or is it? Or is it a Gareth? It might be a Gareth or a Galahad. I can't quite tell. It has a frontal shield anyways. Alright, I just have to keep backing up. Try to break that shield. Try to stay out of his range. I think it's a Galahad, actually. Just keep backing. Okay, I've pretty much backed up as far as I can go, but his shield's dipped down now. So I just, unfortunately, I, these shots come... Oh, great. My, my squad mate just dropped in to save my life. Thank you. All right, now we have to make the long walk back. Let's see. Oh, somebody's jumping here. It's a griffin. We can... Well, somebody else can take him out. All right, let's get set up here on the ramp. There's a invader sitting in center. We'll just spew on him a little bit. Okay. I don't know what that is, but I'm hitting it anyways. That's a Fujin, I think. Alright, so somebody else is coming up there. What is that? Is that a Leo? Oh, we got a Mender. Oh, we gotta take out the Mender. He just used his resistance. Or is it a Mender? No, it's not a Mender. Where is it? No? I, I thought I saw him pulsing there for a second. Well, whatever it is, I'm, I'm gonna hit him. Nope, who's down here on the left? He's getting a little too close for comfort. It's a pursuer, I think. There we go, he's not pursuing anymore. Okay, who's next? We got another guy in center here. Let's take him out, or try to. Reload my weapon. One more shot should do it. There we go. And this guy on the right hand side now is starting to be a bit of a pain in the ass. Right. It's a Leo, I think. Let's just take him out. Well, we'll do our best anyways. I'm just. These sh shots are coming few and far between. Just trying to reload a, most of my clip here. He's got geckos, anyways. And I think that's Avenger on top. There we go. So he's taken care of. Now who's next? I'm trying to do my best. Whittle them down. There's that man. I thought I saw something pulsing earlier. I just had the wrong target. Okay. So I have to get rid of the mender because he actually is a danger. I mistimed that shot. Come on. Stay on target. He's... Yeah, he's going to have his stealth. Okay, just wait, wait. Okay, let's hit him now. Oh, he's behind structure. Hit him again. And one more time. Uh, I don't think I can hit him beyond... He's Yeah, he's through there. He's, he's now just waiting for his pulses to come back. So we'll just wait for him. I'll, I'll save up my, my load here, my weapons. There's his pulse. I really don't want to hit him on his stealth, but I don't want to get too much. There we go, okay. He's taken care of. It looks like they're down to one bot left. It's a falcon. Oh, they got another guy in there too. This is becoming a close game. We might, might be able to pull this off. No thanks to that Cossack on our team. There goes that falcon. That was a mistake going to Fangs Out mode. So is that a stalker? Or is that another pursuer? It's not going in stealth. It was running pretty fast though. Seems they still have another two bots left. Or two two players, anyways. I have no idea how many bots they have left. Okay, guy, get out of my way. So, <laughs> this is going to be challenging. The two guys left on our team were both in range. I really should try and ditch this bot. Get rid of this. Okay, so we got rid of that Spectre. Okay, I'm going to... They have another bot. I'm doing what I probably shouldn't be doing, and that's staying in this bot. But he has an Ansel Shield. If he comes up here, I should be able to hit him. And, okay, now that's a Lancelot, I think. Oh, great. So we're not going to be able to do much against him. It's two on one. Just trying, if I can... I don't have much in my hangar right now that I can actually go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. 
So I'm just trying to, this is probably the best thing I have right now to get rid of that frontal shield. Okay, now I can drop into something here. That's, I gotta get to him pretty quickly here. So let's go with the Pursuer. Let's run down. Okay, where is he? Okay, he's just on the right hand side there. He's coming awfully close. Okay, let's go into Stealth. There we go, Let, now hopefully, his shield's basically down. Okay, my teammate just took his shield down. His frontal shield should be down with all those hits I, I gave him. He's locked down. Okay, let's take him out. Hopefully before my stealth wears out. And he takes me. Okay, so now it's time we've got to go get this beacon. Or we're dead. If you have another bot. Please don't have another bot. I, I don't think I'll get that. Oh. <laughs> that was close. That, that was too close. I, I maybe shouldn't have been in that fury that long. But let's see how we did. Top one in damage, top one in beacons. 11 kills, 1.9 million. Great hard fought match. Well everyone, that was the match. Hope you enjoyed it. I don't play my Fury very much anymore, but it was nice to have a little bit of a change. As I think I mentioned while I was uh, commenting live on that video, uh, I probably saved my Fury a little bit too long. But anyways, uh, I, had a, I had a lot of fun on that match. So as always, feel free to like this video leave some comments or questions down below let me know if you have any ideas for content that you would like me to try and give you uh, just be aware i am an expert league i do not have any mark 2 level 12 stuff i only have one single thing that's even mark 1 level 12 and that's my aries most of my other stuff is somewhere between levels 8 and 10 uh, but i can always try and throw something together on the test server if you want to see something with that being said have a great day and as always, Casa Mayhem in the field for me.